Every single job that you apply for requires some amount of experience. So how do you get that experience? Well, today I'm gonna to tell you guys how you can get experience in 2019. Stay tuned. Before we begin today's video, I wanna let you guys know that this video is brought to you by Pluralsight. If you guys are looking to get trained in IT and trying to land one of those specific certifications, make sure you guys check out Pluralsight. They have a huge library of different courses that relate to IT certifications. And if you use the link in the description below, you can get a free trial. So check that out and let's get into this video right now. Yo, what's going on YouTube? This is Zach with IT Career Questions and I am here to help you. You guys always tell me, Zach, these jobs, they require all these years of experience for entry level roles. I've gone over this topic so many times it hurts. These are only wish lists that companies are looking for. Don't worry about the years of experience that are required. Worry about the skills that you have. But if you really want to make some kind of impact on potential employers that you're looking to work for, you're going to want to have experience. So how do you get experience? Well, I'm here to tell you that right now is the perfect time to find the opportunities that will help you get experience. And here's why. School will be out soon. Now this may be very relevant to you if you are currently in high school or college, but if you are in your later years, this is still relevant. Companies are always doing internships during the summer. Anytime school lets out, there's gonna be companies looking for potential internship opportunities because they're always looking for help during those summer times. Now here's two types of businesses that seem to always be hiring for internships during the summer. The first one would be school districts. School districts get the most work done during the summertime, hands down. When school is out for the summer, IT teams are able to actually go into all these different locations. Maybe they're gonna re-image entire classrooms, they're doing updates, they're getting new hardware. There's really a lot involved during summertime for school districts. So that would be my number one place that I would suggest you guys go and look and see if they have any internship opportunities available in that specific school district. The second one always seems to be hospitals for whatever reason. I think they use the fact that they know that college kids are coming home during the summer and they know that they can get some help out of these people, especially because they know that they're looking to get experience. Now those are just two off the top of my head that I can think of that you can go after right away. However, it might not be that easy for you. There are plenty of businesses in your area, I'm sure, that you can reach out to and you can explain to them what it is that you're looking to do. Tell them you're looking to get into IT, you're looking to get a little bit of experience behind your belt, and that would lead to the next part here. It might not be an internship, it might be volunteer work. You might have to volunteer for some of these locations. And you know what, that's okay. It might not pay you right now, but down the road, it's going to pay off for you because that experience is king. So reach out to every single local company that you can and ask them if they have any opportunities available for you. And again, explain to them that you're looking to get into the IT field and you're looking to get some experience behind your belt and you can see what happens because sometimes just going into these places, telling them what you're looking to do can help. Don't go out looking for a job. Don't tell them that you want a job there, you want employment there. You're gonna have to actually be very specific and say, hey, I'm looking to volunteer here or I'm looking for an internship here because I really need this experience on my resume to help me go further in my career. Now, with the internships, one thing that I should note that I didn't before is that oftentimes you'll find that internships are paid, which is wonderful. So you guys can go get experience behind your belt and get paid a little bit while doing so. Now, you know that a lot of these times those internships aren't gonna be paying top dollar by any means, but any little bit helps and the experience again is something that weighs very heavily in this field and it will really, really look good for you. So a few places that you guys can look for some of these internships, the number one spot I would tell you guys to go and look is k12jobspot.com. I'll put a link right here so you guys can see how it's spelled and everything. There'll also be a link in the description of this video. Go check out that website that's specifically built for school districts. So you may find, or you might start finding that they are posting some internships already for the summer, because again, it's coming up. They want to start filling these slots. 
So make sure you guys go look on K12 Job Spot. The next one would be Indeed.com, of course. You may find some opportunities there, but the best way that I can tell you guys to look for these opportunities is to actually reach out to these business organizations one by one, whether you're emailing them, which I really wouldn't do, go in there and tell them you want an internship or tell them you want to volunteer and see what opportunities are available. You can also reach out to friends, family, and see if they have any open availability in any of the business organizations that they are working for. Experience is king. That's what this video is all about. And this is how you can get experience in 2019. May not be exactly what you want it to be. Unfortunately, you might not get paid, but down the road, that experience is going to be what gets you paid the bigger dollars. Always helps to get experience. That's all I got for you guys in today's video. If you have any other comments, questions, or concerns, hit me up in the comments below. I love hearing from you guys. As always, take it easy.